everyone, I'm Chelsea with Ascender Asana, and today I'm doing a fun tutorial on how to do eight angle pose. So eight angle pose is a fun arm balancing posture that can be a little bit challenging, um, but it's also really rewarding. So it does require a little bit of coordination in the body, a little more core engagement, um, a little strength and stability in the wrists and forearms. But it's a really fun posture to learn, and it's one of my favorite postures, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'll try to break it down for you um, using a block for assistance, and then, um, yeah, just try to break it down as easy as I can for you to make it a little less intimidating and a little more exciting uh, for your yoga practice. So let's get started today. All right, so a lot of people think that they have to be super flexible to do eight angle pose, and that's actually not the case at all. Like I said, it does require a little more core engagement, so that can be a bit intimidating. Um, but other than that, it's just kind of building up the strength to achieve and hold the posture. So don't fret if you can't do it right away. Um, there's always you know, plenty of time to build up to it. Uh, don't worry, like try not to injure your wrists or anything like that jumping into it. If you don't feel you're prepared, just watch this tutorial, maybe do some strength drills, and come back to it a little bit later otherwise. But if you feel like you're ready, um, let's get started. Okay, so as always, this is just a tutorial, so I'm not gonna bring you through a warm up, but you really should warm up your body, especially doing some wrist exercises, like even just some wrist circles or um, elevating the wrists, um, kind of rocking back and forth on them, things like that to kind of help get them warmed up since this is an arm balancing posture. But we're gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna start out on my right side today, so I'm gonna bring my right knee up towards the body. And when we do this posture, we wanna think about hooking it under our arm. So I usually bring up my leg, you can hold it with your other arm if you want. Bring my arm up under and kind of press it, just the outside of the hip, um, just a little bit forward. So my arm right now is resting, or my leg right now is resting right on my tricep. And I wanna think about bringing this heel and kind of squeezing it to my arm to lock it in place. Now, depending on who you learn from, people will tell you to um, put your free leg on the bottom, um, but I found it's actually easier for me personally to put it on the top because that helps lock it in place better for me and you're not, because this is already being supported so you can't like drop it, where with this one you actually have to support your own leg almost. So um, you can practice either way, but I'm gonna teach you by placing your free leg on top. So before we do that, um, you can practice, maybe extend that leg out, just practice pushing off the mat. So pushing your hips and your bum off the mat because this is the action we'll need to get into the posture. So if you don't have the um, kind of strength to support yourself in this posture, um, you may not be able to do the posture, but that's okay because you can still practice doing this and even practice hovering that left foot off the mat. That's a great strength building drill just to learn this posture. So you can just work on that if that's, um, if you're too uncomfortable trying to achieve the full posture today. Um, but yeah, so that's just a fun strength drill. So, but if we wanna get going, I'm just gonna readjust my leg here, squeeze that heel, so really locking that leg in place, placing our hands just to the outside of our hips and a little bit forward. We're gonna bring that left leg back in, like I said, Hook that over the right foot, flex those toes um, to get them in a great positioning. And then we want to deep inhale here. And on our exhale, we're just gonna come up onto our hands. And when we do this, we wanna think about extending those legs down as we bend our elbows, kind of like chaturanga. We can gaze at our toes if we want, straighten those legs as much as you can, squeeze those elbows in towards the body, Keep that core active, come back up, and drop back down. Now one way to do this, um, if you can't quite support yourself in this posture alone, um, you can try to use a block for assistance. And this is kind of a little um, trial and error on placement, but you really kind of want to line it up with your opposite arm, so the one that's not supporting your leg. Line it up with your shoulders so that when you dip down, you can kind of dip onto that block. So we're gonna do it, try it one more time. So bring that leg up, rest it on your tricep, so push that right elbow back, place that palm on the ground, fingers wide, 
pull that heel in to lock that leg in place. Kind of move your block to kind of where you think it'll be, line it up with that shoulder. Bring up that left foot, lock it in, flex those toes. Inhale up onto your hands. Exhale, see if you can drop that shoulder to the block as you extend your legs. This is a great modification for the posture because if you could just learn to hold it here, you can really build strength in the body, build strength in the core, so that you can eventually achieve it without the block. So let's try it on the other side. You will notice that my right side, or that I should say when I do it on the left side, it's a lot weaker for me. And everyone has their strong side and weak side. So since I'm right-handed, usually my left side's my weak side. So we'll see how this goes. But, okay, so we'll bring up that foot, bring that arm out and under, lock that le leg in place over your arm. So pull that heel in towards your body. We're gonna do this out the block first. You can practice elevating yourself if you need to, just, just with your leg extended out straight. Otherwise, readjust. And um, I forgot to mention that you don't have to get it super high up on your leg. As long as it's higher than your elbow, you're good. So it doesn't have to be like sitting on your shoulder or anything. So you're gonna place your hands down, bring that right leg over the left leg, flex those toes to get you comfortable. Inhale. Exhale, push up, bend those elbows like chaturanga arms, straighten out those legs if you can. Try to keep that free arm from dipping down, so try to keep those shoulders level and square if you can. You can either gaze at your toes, gaze in front of you, and then drop down. So, how'd that go for you guys? That actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be for my weak side. So now we're going to grab our block again. Try it with the block this time. Or you can just keep doing it regular if you were doing awesome with it. Bring that leg back up, wrap it around our arm, lock that leg in place by squeezing that heel towards the body. Kind of line up our block with where our shoulder will land. Place those hands outside it and just forward of the hips. Bring that right leg up, lock those toes in place. Inhale, or I should say, inhale. Exhale, push the mat away. Straighten out those legs as you drop your shoulder to your block. This really helps you from keeping that, from dropping that shoulder too low. So I find it's a great modification. Gaze at those toes. Maybe hold for a few breaths. Keeping that core engaged, squeezing those elbows together. And then drop down. So I hope this helps you a little bit um, with getting a little bit closer to achieving eight angle pose. Um, I'd really appreciate any feedback you have for me um, by leaving a comment below. Uh, and yeah, just please let me know if there are any other posture tutorials that you would like me to do in the future. And as always, like and subscribe to my channel, please. Please share it with your friends. Um, I really just want to get everyone interested in yoga and um, make it more achievable and make it more approachable for people that might be intimidated by the uh, practice. So thank you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I will see you guys next time. Bye.